I want to ask about your leadoff hitter, Mr. Kuhn. Hey, a good day. He's a professional hitter. You know, he's a tough out for some young pitchers like that. But, you know, for him, uh, find a way to get on base, even first practice game, regardless of the competition you're playing, it's a nice way to start. Oh, he's, he plays hard. He's a 295 career hitter, and um, he's got a lot of AAA experience. So uh, we like what we see so far out of him, that's for sure. Does it, do, do you read into, or should the average fan kind of read into how much AAA ball somebody plays? Or are there so many politics and, you know, and, and no, different scenarios in baseball that maybe, because looks, he looks like a guy who played some very serious baseball. Yeah, he can play. Years. He was never like a, a highly rated prospect where he was drafted real high and given a ton of money and you're going to get the triple A regardless of, of your skill level. I mean, he got there because he played hard and was, was productive early in his career and kind of just progressed through the system and uh, has been in a couple different organizations so far. So, uh, you know, a couple people have seen him play and know what he's capable of and he's got a lot of versatility. He can play many positions and he can hit a lot of places in the lineup. I mean, he hits first for us just because we're trying to we got two left-handed hitters at this point. We got to separate them somehow. But uh, you know, for me, just because you're a leadoff hitter doesn't mean you got to be a prototypical typical leadoff hitter. I mean, we got a good seven, eight, nine guys that going to going to hit for average and get on base. So if you're hitting first or second, for me, you got to be able to drive runs in. So uh, we're pretty confident that he can can do that for us. Did you get anything out of today that? Uh like, what did you get out of today? That's a good practice. You're going through the routine. I mean, obviously, our pregame is a little bit longer today than it is during the season. But uh, you've got to practice going going through the routine of, of getting the, the BP in and playing your innings, playing offense, playing defense, running the bases. And it's unfortunate. I mean, when a score gets like this, I mean, it's important for us to be a good base running team. That's how you produce offense. And good base running teams have a way of scoring one or two extra runs that maybe you shouldn't score. And uh, you have to practice that at game speed. So when your score gets a little out of hand like this, usually you want to kind of call off the dogs a little bit. But uh, it's hard to practice base running game speed without a game actually taking place. So um, I thought everybody did a pretty good job of that today, going first to third, scoring on base hits from second base, and doing the things that we need to do to produce runs. As a baseball guy, um, What's uh what's the, the the value of like the U of W baseball team's program? They're in a league now. They just got accepted into that. Well, it's good for them. I mean, it's going to help them, I you know, develop an identity, you know, for sure, and probably going to help them a little bit with recruiting. And at the same time, it's going to give these these kids a little bit more exposure. So, they're moving in the right th direction slowly but surely. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be a tough battle. But um, I like Mike. I like what he stands for, and he's doing a lot of good things with that program.